1620, while the Mayflower was in Provincetown, 18 of its men sailed in a small shallop, searching for a place to live. They came to present-day East Ham, where they were met by a group of Nosset. After a brief but violent encounter, the English left towards today's Plymouth. In 2020, we remember this first encounter. We explore its meanings for today and tomorrow. Hello, welcome back to another Sunset Series video. My name is Joanna Hollick. I'm the coordinator for the Sunset Series with East Ham 400. I'm here today with Willow Shire. Um, Willow is an East Ham resident. She's a painter. She's part of the East Ham Painters Guild and the Library Art Committee. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Could you start by explaining to us very briefly a little bit about your personal connection with East Ham? Well, uh, as I've told some of the members of the committee, I have a picture of my mother and I on First Encounter Beach, very close to where I currently live. And that picture was taken in 1954 when I was six. And at that time, I felt I belonged here. I, it's one of my first memories, and I spent a lifetime getting back here. That's wonderful. Could you explain to us a little bit about um, what you as an artist and what the artists here in East Ham are doing to honor the commemoration of the 400th anniversary? East Ham has a long history of, of a relationship with the arts. Going back, I mean, Henry Beston, who wrote a famous, very famous book on, on a beach in East Ham. And the artists have always been a part of East Ham and continue to be. The East Ham Painters Guild is 40 years old this year, and so it's one of the newer uh, art groups on the Cape. But even then, there was a, a real need to, to establish a community of art in East Ham. What is this community of art doing um, for the 400th anniversary or for events this summer? Well, we've planned a number of activities that have been postponed, not, not canceled, but postponed because of the current uh, coronavirus. And three of those, let me talk about three. Um, one is we have planned a community billboard, um, a community mural. And this mural is uh, eight feet tall and 12 feet wide and will go up at the superette. And it's comp comprised of 96 one foot squares. And we're going to ask the community to family each to take one square and paint on it. Now, there's some guidelines about what they will paint on it, um, but once they paint on it, we're going to reassemble these 96 squares on a big public mural. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. So there'll be a day of creating, and then a week later, after everything dries, the paint dries, there'll be a day of assembling. And it, I think it'll be a lot of fun for the town. That sounds wonderful. Uh, the second thing we're planning is one of East Ham painters and painters who visit from all over the world come here to paint outdoors because the light's wonderful, the ocean is beautiful, the dunes are picturesque. So they come and it's called plein air painting. And we plein air paint all over East Ham. Uh, on Fort Hill is a very popular spot. Salt Pond is another popular spot. But we're also painting on First Encounter Beach to celebrate and to remember um, the long history on First Encounter Beach starting back then, 200, 400 years ago, but continuing today with uh, some, some very happy memories today. But they all, they all matter. So uh, we will be inviting the public to join us in painting on First Encounter Beach um, because you'll see it has, whether it's beautiful sunsets or just the tidal flats, and then an artist puts their own take on these, what they see in in the, uh, on the flats or out in the bay. So I think that art, visiting artists will enjoy coming to First Encounter Beach and painting with us. Yes, and the third event? Figure painting. It usually happens in a studio. You get a live model, and artists will sit all around that live model so they each get a different perspective on the model. And we're going to hold one of these figure painting activities um, here in this room. Uh, we don't know when, but it will happen. And we have a member of the Wampanoag Nation from Mashpee coming to be our, um, to be our model. And he's going to come in all of his ceremonial 
uh, dress, all of his, uh, some feathers and beads, and he's, he's absolutely a stunning model. Uh, and we will invite people to come, artists to come, and join us and paint this model and uh, create their own, their own portraits of um, a very famous um, representation of this part of the Cape. That also sounds wonderful. Um, where can people go to learn more information if they're interested in participating in these events? The uh, East Ham 400 website will have all this information, and I think oh, we have them going to that website for everything. Um, they will be posting, when we get those dates and able to reopen, we will re-post um, those dates and, and really invite people to come join us. Can you just explain to us briefly why this is something that you're passionate about and why you think that this artwork and this work and this commemoration is so important? Well, I think particularly now, it's important not to forget the past, discount the past, um, but to incorporate the past, to learn from it, um, to build a better new world. I think the only way to do that is to emotionally connect, and art is uh, an important way to emotionally connect to a subject, to whether it's a topic or a place or a person, but to emotionally connect, to see it in a different way, and, and recommit. I took up painting, oh my goodness, maybe 25 years ago, because I realized that I was getting older and the lilac seasons were flying by me. They're flying by right now. And I realized a whole year would go by and I was not paying attention. And a way to help myself, to discipline myself to pay attention, was to try to paint that image, try to capture that image on a birch panel with oil paint. And that just enhanced my ability to see what was around me in a way that nothing else had been able to do. Do you have any advice for aspiring painters? Uh, it's said that you need to paint a thousand paintings before you get to be really good. So just do it. Just get out there every day. Painting outdoors in a, is an especially great way to hone your observation skills. So if you're painting outside, if you're really paying attention and doing it every day, your life will change. It, it, it is life-changing. Thank you so much, Willow, for being here today. And I think that art is just an amazing way, as you mentioned, to connect history with our current lives today and maybe even to find a little bit of healing or hope in this um, scary time of the pandemic. So thank you for sharing your thoughts with us today. Joanna, you're very welcome. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. My name is Joanna Hollick. I want to thank you again for your support of this program. I hope that you're enjoying the Sunset Series videos so far. Here at East Ham 400, we believe that an important part of history is the lasting significance that it has on our lives today. Specifically, we ask ourselves questions like, what impact does the first encounter have on our current world? How have local histories shaped our lives today? And what connections are there between East Ham 400 years ago and East Ham now. Just as the Mayflower passengers in the Nauset had to learn to live together under new conditions, in recent months we have had to adapt to new routines and different lifestyles. Just as the pandemics of the 17th century devastated Native American communities, our own communities are now feeling the effects of a pandemic. We are interested in hearing your own reflections and opinions on the way that this history has shaped our own communities and has impacts on our own lives. I invite you to share your thoughts with me by emailing me at jholic at gmail.com. Thank you.